I'm Pat Noho, and these are my indies. I first started writing indie in 1979, right in there. I really liked the way that Salva was skating, Brad Bowman was skating, and Steve Olsen were skating. I mean, they just skated with a lot of power and speed and carving and tricks. It was a full package that was kind of going to that next level. The indie ads were always the best. It was the things you almost went to first and looked at, and you know, the shot of Bobby Valdez, and I believe it's at Newark, and you know, just such a classic ad. The graphics have always been so amazing with independent trucks, and that's definitely one of the, the first ads that kind of captured my imagination. This is definitely one of my favorite ads, the Daryl Miller sequence shot. It was definitely a progressive cutting edge trick of the time. And to see that ad really inspired all of us little groms. Yeah, when you, especially when you talk to some of the early skaters, they didn't have a reference point, they didn't have video. Fortunately, I was at a great skate park marina and there was a lot of great contests there and all the top skaters were coming there every day. So. I got to skate with them, you know, I got to get influenced by them and watch what they were doing and that really helped guide my skating to where it became. So my board's eight and a half inches wide and I ride the 149s. I like the smaller truck just because of the control on the coping. I swap out the stock bushings and I put in the Indy Soft and also one uh, black which is the hard in the back. These bushings are the best, they got the best rebound. They always come right back to center. So I ride my trucks deep into the axle. I like the groove, I like the way they feel. They seem to just get better and better as uh, time goes on. And I only change them out when I, you know, put a whole new setup together.